A lot of questions I get from women in their 50s, 60s and beyond have to do with color. There's this misconception you need to avoid things like a smoky eye or a bright lip once you hit a certain age. But I disagree, it's really just a matter of adjusting the application. Here the skin is already prepped with a beautiful oil and a light coverage of foundation. The eyebrows have been gently filled with a light eyeshadow for a natural look. To start on the eyes, use a black pencil to create a soft line along the lash line. This pencil is so soft and velvety that you can really get a nice line easily. So don't be nervous to give your eyelid a bit of a soft pull as you draw against the lid. Next, use our angle brush to go over the line, gently smudging and blending the pencil into the lashes. Make sure it looks soft and not painted, blending in any hard edges. Using the crease brush, apply a medium color eyeshadow to the moving part of the eyelid. Starting on the outer part of the eyelid and moving inwards, you can gently apply color to create natural depth. Next, keep applying more of the same shadow into the crease with a soft sweeping motion. If you're concerned about heaviness above the eyes, use a medium to dark shade to help give the illusion of pushing back the skin to create that feeling of space above the eye. Apply a coat of mascara, gently pulling up the eyelids. I like to keep it light and natural. For me, a blush is an absolute key product for an older woman as it really brightens up the face. Apply a cream blush with your fingers to the apples of the cheek, tapping it into the skin. Focusing on this area really gives that refreshed and healthy glow. Add a light highlighter to the cheekbones and across the bridge of the nose for a bit more radiance. For Michelle, I wanted to create a really beautiful red lip. Here I use our classic lip pencil starting along the outer line of the lip. Don't be nervous if you make a mistake. Just grab a Q-tip and wipe it upwards or inwards towards the lip, not away from the lip, which will cause more smudging. If you have any areas of a lip where you're worried about thinning, there's nothing wrong with overdrawing the lips slightly to give the illusion of a naturally fuller lip. The key spots where I typically overdraw with a darker lip pencil are near the outer corner on both the top and bottom lips. Then use KW Red Lipstick to fill in the middle of the lips, either using a lip brush or the lipstick itself. I prefer using the lip brush for added precision. To lock in the color, dab a little bit of powder on the lips with your finger before adding a last layer of lip color, creating a deeply saturated, bold look. Finish with a swipe of light powder, mainly over the T-zone, using a brush and staying away from the cheeks. For a more defined look, add a bit of eyeliner to the inside wet line of the eye, bringing out the depth of the eye with little effort. This look brings a beautiful definition and natural glow to any mature face without feeling overdone. 